Hey, good morning. It's Mornings with James. And, uh, <clears throat> oh, I guess I better get the right image up here, hey? Let's see. Let's do this and go here. There we go. There. I can actually see me. You can see me. And uh, we'll all hang out together. Hey, once again, Mornings with James, uh, Jess FM, Jess TV. Uh, great to be here with you this morning, just ahead of 9 o'clock, starting things off, getting towards the weekend, and uh, a lot of fun things coming our way. So we're on the cusp of whoop up days. We're into the uh, you know the final half of August, the final half of the uh, summer vacation. People are gearing up for the last uh, long weekend of the summer, the September long weekend coming up, and it's just I find it just a time of change. And uh, in this time of change, I just wanted to share some things with you. So when I look back on the week and look at the people I had a chance to talk to, I had a chance to. Uh, talk with Robin from Lethbridge Housing, um, Sheva from da the Downtown BRZ, Brandy, who's on this incredible fitness journey. I tell you, <coughs> excuse me, that would be the smoke in the air. Um, <clears throat> it's been an amazing week of inspiration. And we get a great opportunity to see just how we can draw inspiration from the people around us. We can draw inspiration from the community. And, uh, and of course, oh, we also had uh, um, Brad Wall in from uh, Progressive Fighting Academy. And, you know, just the level of fitness and the level that he performs at, just absolutely fantastic. So here's the thing. When you're going out and you're doing your things and you're looking around at the, at the world around you and you're thinking, oh, man, you know, I'm just not enough this, I'm not enough that. There really is so much more that we can do and a lot of times it's just about just connecting with other people that are going to inspire us a lot of times it's just about making that connection and then kind of moving forward and just having fun with those guys who represent an opportunity to inspire us you know <clears throat> funny thing um, you know Brad and I have been kind of uh, distance friends for so long connected on Facebook for a couple of years but you know really we we only got a chance to actually connect when we were at another friend's place and here he is this great guy and uh, he does these great things and he's got this great legacy and they've got some really impressive things going on uh, you know the future is just unfolding really well for him um, you know other people like for example Robin with Lethbridge Housing some great initiatives going on there um, and then we have Sheva with Downtown BRZ and her and her team are doing some incredible things and you can see the passion that these people have for positive change you can see the passion that they have for just making great things happen and that's something we can definitely all learn from because in that passion there is a, a certain positivity you know i love when i was talking with sheva yesterday um how she was just so bright so positive about the wonderful things that are going on with downtown lethbridge you know, we tend to focus a lot on the negative, but, you know, and she looks around and, and I've talked with other people about this too. Um, you know, all things considered, we have a very safe downtown area. We have a very, very safe community. You know, yes, there are some other things going on, some, some not so positive things going on. I think though, when we bring a positive attitude to things and, and we really shine that positive light on, it changes everything. It really changes everything. And I think that is one thing that I think that, that we all need to keep in mind. And Sheva, I'm going to just uh, give you a big shout out and thank you for that. Sheva from Downtown BRZ, a big thank you for sharing that positivity. And then, of course, we had Brandy on the program. And, uh, you know, here, here's this woman in her 40s, single mom, and she is making a difference. She inspires her, her son. Um, to you know to do more be more she inspires other people around her i love the comments that were on uh facebook just with regards to just that positivity so you know brandy thank you very much for coming on the program and sharing i'm going to be dropping some names here too to just say you know a big thanks for the positivity and um and and the recognition of that as we head into the weekend that positivity i think is really important and coming into whoop up days you know a lot of fun coming up next week and think of this <clears throat> with whoop up days now I'm gonna be um, 
sharing some positivity. I'll be helping out my friends uh, with McMahon and helping them out with their float. Uh, they're all going to be walking. I, I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably walk along with them and we'll talk about different program details and stuff like that. I love what McMahon does. I love their role in the community to help people to get a hand up and to help people move forward. So I'll be helping them out with that. So I look forward to seeing everybody uh, in the Whoop Up Days Parade. And, uh, you know, coming up tonight, if you're hanging out in Elkford, I'm going to be at the Lamplighter and I'm going to be doing my ultimate hypno game show starting at about 9, 930 there. And uh, we'll just be hanging out, having some fun, a little hypnosis, a little game show stuff and sharing the positivity. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take the positivity from the week and I'm going to channel it into the event I have coming up tonight. I'm going to channel it into the stuff I have coming up on the weekend and I'm just going to pay it forward. So I hope you find some positivity in that. If you haven't checked out the videos, by all means, just scroll down on my Facebook page, check out those videos, or jump over to the Jess FM page and check out the videos there too. There's nothing wrong with the positivity. There's nothing wrong with being able to share that. I'll tell you what, it just makes me feel so good, so alive. It is an absolutely fun, wonderful, and amazing thing. So be positive, be amazing. And of course, if you're out in Elk Valley, uh, in Elkford tonight, uh, make sure you come out to the Lamplighter. We're just going to have some fun, you know. And uh, I look for opportunities to create more fun like that. I had a last minute cancellation for tomorrow night, so who knows what will happen. Maybe I'll get a last minute uh, event for tomorrow night. If not, you know what, there's always some fun to be had just hanging out with people and doing some really cool stuff and connecting with friends. So, like I've said in the past, and this is kind of a short uh, little live that I'm doing, um, we are stronger as a community than as individuals, you know? And oh, you know, I get to drop one other name too. Speaking of positivity, I had a chance and I'm hoping to get him on the show sometime. I talked with Steve Schaefer from New Light Electric, okay? And uh, I met him uh, many, many years ago and, and had a chance to reconnect with him uh, when we were sitting down talking about just some upcoming events and things like that. And uh, I love his story, it's very inspirational. It is definitely a story of a guy who set his sights on achieving a great goal and then worked forward to make it happen. He is, um, you know, with uh, New Light Electric um, and the positive stuff that they're doing, uh, they're really, really, uh, you know, he's really a, a family oriented guy and a company oriented guy and he just brings a positivity with it. And I, I like his attitude and I like the positive message that he, uh, that he shares because He's a guy who appreciates everything. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not speaking out of turn here. I hope I'm not speaking out of turn. But he's a guy who appreciates everything that he has. And, and I love that. And you know, I think when I can sit down and talk with people like that, it just makes me appreciate even more uh, the wonderful things that I've got going on in my life and the wonderful people in my life, whether they're super healthy, whether they're on a healthy journey, um, whether they're just starting their journey. It's all great absolutely great so on this friday morning the takeaway you know what i'm grateful for the amazing people that i get to interview on my program i'm grateful for the opportunity to share and i'm very grateful uh for the people who tune in listen in and share and become inspired so the takeaway for a friday gratitude gratitude is an amazing thing so get connected be a part of the community like i said before we are always stronger as a community than as individuals. And we have so much to learn from each other. So as you move forward on your Friday, get connected, reconnect, stay connected, and of course, do yourself a great favor, stay inspired. Reach out, connect with the people around you who uh, will inspire you, who will go to that next level, and who will make or help you to make things happen. Because you know what? We don't do everything by ourselves. We don't operate in a vacuum. That's why it's so incredibly important to get connected. Have yourself an amazing Friday. We'll connect again soon. Tuesday morning, Mornings with James. Stay inspired. Have a great one.